Happy Sunday. <clears throat> Happy Sunday. Greetings, my people. Greetings to all. Happy Sunday to all the Biafrans, uh, the people of Biafra, the indigenous people. My people, I said happy Sunday, greetings from my side, greetings to all of you. Today's topic is all about uh, reducing footprint on Facebook. You know, I like to give my people the earlier warning tips on how things is going to be in the future so that those that are wise will be able to learn fast and deviate dodge strange bullets that will be flying to their side or to their way greetings to all today's topic is all about reducing your footprint on social media reducing your footprint on facebook I am using Facebook, I know that. Um, the issue now is all about what can you do and which way can you follow. There are many things to do. Before I will go to that, before I will advise you on how to reduce your footprint on Facebook and the alternative and the best thing to do, let me first of all go to a different topic now. Normal, this video I wanted to do it yesterday evening, but uh, there, there is no time. I wasn't that there was no time for me to do it because I went to special occasion and uh, we celebrated ourselves. That one they call it Urinando, you know, not Urinando. So uh, joke apart. Today's topic will, will be in conjunction of reducing your footprint on Facebook and uh, the identity of the Igbo people. You know what? Igbos, you know, when I want to say something funny, I will start laughing because uh, our people do claim that they are the most wisest tribe in Africa. They are the wisest people in Nigeria. But I and you and others are the doom people in Nigeria, in Africa. Because if you remember that you are foolish, you are non, your brain is not working, then you will do more for something to change in your life. I went to somewhere yesterday and we were discussing something. Something came into that discussion. And since that yesterday, I have not slept. I keep on asking myself a question. The topic is all about baptism in Roman Catholic, in churches, in religion, these new modern religions in Africa. You know, if you tell a white man your name, they ask you, which country are you from? And you will start explaining. Why do they ask that question? They see you as a black man. And they ask you, what is your name, young man? Like me, if they ask me, I will be proud. I will tell them, my name is Zebedee. <laughs> and they say, Zebedee? I say, yes, from the Bible. From the Holy Bible, Holy Book of Christ. They said, okay, Zebedee from which country? And I will tell them from Nigeria. Oh, Zebedee, Nigeria, formal uh, object of Britain. <laughs> uh, I will start arguing. I will tell them, no, no longer. It's before, you know. I will try to start, I will try to defend myself without me realizing that I have been making mistakes from the beginning. You know, when a white man asks you your name, men looking at you, a brown man, black, brown man, not black, a, because my bath is black and my body is brown. A brown man, they knows you that you are an African. 
and they know that Africa has their unique culture. They have their unique identity. And they approach you to get the sound of Africa out of you. And you will mention, you will call yourself an object of a white man by using that English word, Zebedee, Anthony, um, um, Theophilus, a lot of English names. This name, you know, oh, do you know that when our people normally say during the time of colonization that Roman Catholic was with the colonial masters and we did not realize that we are still an object of the white man through trickish something that they chip in into our life that we felt in the code. And it was decoded yesterday because it is good to argue. Argument, arguing to learn is good. But arguing to insult, not to pick point, is very wrong. But yesterday we were arguing to learn. And the young man, his name is Chid, he said he has made a mistake before. And he prayed to God that that mistake would not repeat itself again. I said, what is it? He said, why is it that our Igbo name, our African tradition name, is a taboo in Roman Catholic to use it as a Christian or baptismal name? It then means you want to disown and pull yourself out of an object, pulling yourself that you are not an object of a white man, Pulling yourself that you are an independent body by a reverend father asking you, what is your baptismal name? And you tell him, my baptismal name is Ejilike Emowa. He will say, what the hell are you talking? What is that? He asks you, what is your name? And you tell him, my name is Chuku Mwachineke. And he will tell you, what of your baptismal name? And he will be expecting you to call that your object name that is Zebedee, or to call um, 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 Theophilus, or, or Callistus, or, or, or all these English names that made us to become the subject of a white man. And these people are not ready, willing, or in any form to adopt your own name. But they will tell you, those people are saints that you didn't know how they live their lives. The saints that they do voting to tell you who is sent before they tell us a special um, um, angel will come and proclaim a saint. It's a lie. These guys does voting. And our local traditional Igbo name is not qualified enough to be our baptismal name. I reject it. In short, I, will, I reject it. As from today, I will gradually delete everywhere my English name is appearing. If you are not ready to call me AGK Korea, then you can go to her. You know me as an African, but you don't want to use your tongue to pronounce my name. Oh, no. Do you know? Do you know the type of molesting that these people molested us? Do you know the type of mathematics they use in our brain? They will call you a nigger and you will make trouble. But you are a nigger, young man. You are a nigger. Because you are their subject. When you call yourself any Christian name, that means you are the property of the Roman Catholic under the colonial masters of the white men. That is why, as from today, if you are proud of yourself as a, as a brown African man, stop adopting as from today. It will never happen in my life again. Stop adopting any white man name. You have willingly making yourself an object 
to the former colonial people. But when a white man comes to you and pick up your identity, identification card, and he look into it, he see Mwachineke, AGK. He doesn't need to ask you, where did you come from? Did you get that? Mwachineke, AGK, he knows it's a brown African continent. That is your origin. But when you pick your identity, Zebedi, AGK, Korea, hmm, where did they burn you? He will look into, oh, they born him in Nigeria. One of our objects, but born in Africa. You see it? They want to confirm if you are an object from US, Britain, Australia, or any other part. Through your name, they can be able to identify you. But the Roman Catholic and the religions that are coming into Africa are helping the colonial masters to enslave you the more. Like things that are happening in, in Libya. is to tell you how dirty Arab man is. To tell you how dirty an Arab man is. Because I do tell my people, men looking at what is happening in Libya, you will see any Arab without the kingdom of Saudi Arabia Without Saddam Hussein, without Gaddafi, they will remain deaf and dumb. They will, their brain won't be working. And their colonial masters are even helping them to create a ground for slavery to restart again in Africa. I will not call not Africa, Africa, because it's not even Africa. Those people are Arab nations. Africa starts from the brown continent of Africa. That's why our names and our identity are very unique. So let me go back again to the first one that I said, the first topic. How to reduce your footprint. If you are using computer, I don't know whether it will work on tablet, but I don't know whether it will also work on a mobile phone. But uh, let me see if I will be able to write something here. Is there any possibility to write something? Yes. Let me write something. Go to, as from today, start reducing your footprint on Facebook. Facebook is now one strong body. It's now an arm of American and British secret service. If you go to U.S. today, those people encounter that uh, that controls your identity immediately the camera on that area snap your face your facebook identity a facebook profile will pop up every activities that you do on facebook will appear <laughs> no more hidden place but there is hidden place for you to operate in a normal way as a social human being that is free to operate around so, I will send out a page. There you should go and create yourself an account. You see it? The name is Iroko www.irocoocoo.com. If you go there, it's also like Facebook. If you know how to use Facebook, you will be able to use the program. That place is the alternative that you can grow. You will make video calls there. You will do all your necessary activities on that site. Promote yourself. Work as a human. All your identity, every that is about you are well secured. There is no government entity that runs it. It's, it's an open source that nobody controls. It's like Bitcoin. Are you hearing something about Bitcoin? I know that our people doesn't know about Bitcoin and they will only know when, when they will use $100 billion to buy what Bitcoin. So what I would like to tell you is to go there, reduce your footprint on Facebook and put something good for yourself and get back to me. 
Um, I have put it in writing. Hello, familia. I have put it in writing. Um, let me call it again. It's www. It's like Iroko. That is www.iroocoo.com. Go there. You may log in with your Facebook account. You may create a neutral account. You may you add your picture. You add your cover page. You upload your pictures. You upload your videos. You interact with people. You create your group. You create your page. You do all sorts of things. Everything you do on Facebook, you will do it there. But that place, your safety is guaranteed. Those that doesn't want anybody to tamper, whatever you are doing, are the one developing the script. Come, mommy. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Leave us. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So, and uh, as from today, be proud. If you, uh, if you have a child, a new child, my daughter, her name is Chidema. No Igbo. So give her a unique African name. Even though the white pastor, the white doctor, the white reverend father will ask you, no English um, baptismal name, you tell him that I know my own origin language. If you ask me the meaning of Chuku, I will defend it. The meaning of EJK, I will defend it. But if you ask me the meaning of Zebedee, I will scratch my head, I will ask Gogo, and whatever that Gogo write to me is what I'm going to tell you, whether it's lie or not. So give yourself your identity back. Give yourself your identity back. Don't allow any colonial master to colonize you indirectly. Make you their object indirectly. Sorry. Please be free and be free indeed. For watching from UK, Randy. Randy, greetings. Um, there is a page, it's called iroco.com, www.i, I call it iroco, I R I for Ireland, R for Russia, O for Orange, O for Orange, C for Canada, O for Orange, O for Orange.com. Go there and be free. Um, I didn't say that there is anything wrong in it, but I just want to tell you that you have to be free from the object of white man. Why must you use English name as a baptismal name? Are you an Englishman? Are you an European? They call it Bablican. Africa. We have been in existence before Christ. Why didn't our own name, no, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Ethiopian name appear in the Bible? All of them are pure white people's name. Oh, come back, my people. Be yourself. Accept to be free. And free indeed. God bless you and bless all of you. And I and my family. Remain blessed and bye-bye for now. Don't miss to reduce your footprint on Facebook.